Hey what's up you guys, it's Forge here and welcome back to another Minecraft mod review. Today we are doing Project E Part 3. So yeah guys, if you enjoy this video, if you do, or if you find it useful, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Let's get into the video. Okay guys, so the first thing we have is in this chest and it is the Mercurial Eye. This is made with 5 bricks, 1 red matter, 1 diamond and 2 obsidian. And this is a non-stackable item, and one thing you're going to need for this is a Kleinstar Omega. Or, well, not a Kleinstar Omega, just a Kleinstar. And you're going to press C for the extra functions mode. You'll find that in your keybinds or your controls. And you're going to place that in there. And then you're going to take your block of choice that you want to target. So, say I wanted to build a stone wall. You'd press C again. And apparently, your Kleinstar would disappear. Weird. Line star. Let's just put a bit of juice into it, so that should probably do that. And we'll go C, and we'll place that guy in there. And now, if I right click, it'll place down a block at the cost of EMC. And if I press V, it'll power it up, so that's a 3x3, three three, power it up again. And then, if you power it up one more time, it'll build a bigger wall, and then obviously again. And it'll build a bigger wall. And if you press shift feel, depower it. I'm going to have to work out how I'm going to get rid of that. Or I'll just leave it there. Um, the next thing we have is the transmute mode. So you're going to use the change mode key, which is G. And that will transmute any block I click using the EMC. So the EMC of grass is one and stone. But say I wanted to place a sapler, uh, a plank of wood, for example. So if I went into the target inventory and put that as a plank of wood instead, it would use 7 EMC due to the fact that the grass block is worth 1 and the oak plank is worth 8. So it ta uses takes away the EMC value of the block. So I'm essentially using 7 EMC. But say you wanted to do s replace a grass floor with stone, it would... I keep shift right clicking for some reason. Then it would... Also you'd gain EMC from switching this out. And that is really loud noise, but yeah, that is the transmutation mode. So yeah, that is about all there is to the mercurial eye. The next thing we have is Nova Catalyst. This is a crafting ingredient. It also works as TNT if I grab a lever, and this could be how I'm going to get rid of stone. This is more powerful TNT, essentially. Yeah, and it does that. That was a mistake. One sec, guys. Well, that was an interesting one. Uh, turns out I read the wiki and it has a really wide blast range and it also, when you blow things up, it tends to for bring all of the items actually blown up, none of the items that were in the chest, but all the items ended up here where I blew it up. It brings all the stuff to the player. It also does not kill the player and uh, it has a really wide blast radius. Got all of this, all of this and a bit of here. So that was the uh, Nova Catalyst. It's also used in crafting recipes. I didn't bother doing any most of the recipes back in these because I didn't see the point really. The next thing we have is the Nova, Cata Nova Cataclysm. This is made with a Nova Catalyst and an Aeternalis fuel. I don't know if I showed how to make the Nova Catalyst. That's made with TNT and a Mobius fuel, and you get two per each one. So if I grab another lever, then we can blow this guy up somewhere far away, hopefully. Far enough away anyway, because I think this is actually pretty big. Okay, this should do. Let's blow it up. But yeah, you'll see that all of the items that are blown up get dropped into a singular area and also fill up my inventory. Uh, but yeah, um, this thing essentially is a good way to mine because it drops all the blocks in the area that you blew up. It places all the blocks near you. Oh, this is bedrock and I'm in creative mode. Let's try not to fall down there. Um... It does not damage player or mods, mobs again, and this is equal to, four of these is equal to one nuke being left or let off. I'm not sure what type of nuke, to be honest with you, but yeah, um, it's big, and I'm glad we did it over there, because it would have vaporized this area. So yeah, that's the uh, Nova Cataclysm. Okay guys, so the next thing we have is in this chest, and that is the Evertide Emblem. This is a pedestal. Thing that I didn't cover in the pedestal type thing because a uh, 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 video because yeah I missed it, but yeah um 
This essentially will acts as an infinite water source and it also fires a water projectile as well and if on the pedestal it will attempt to make it rain slash snow. But this is obviously going to need EMC so we have our trusty climb star and yeah this shoots water out essentially which is pretty cool. I don't know if this damages mobs let's find out. Oh it just pushes them back. But yeah and also you can just right click and these things make really weird noises and if I grab a pet distal and say you want it to rain you could have like a clicker just right click and and you're gonna make it rain or guess we'll give it its time will we oh it might be because I've run the weather clear command yeah Set zero. We'll we'll wait for that to kick in. But yeah, I'm gonna chuck my client star back in here. Okay, so the next thing we have is the destruction catalyst. Now this is quite a fun and useful tool for clearing an area out. This oh I forgot to show you how to craft the Avatide amulet. This is made with three dark matter and six water buckets. I'm assuming you keep the buckets. Uh the destruction catalyst, this is made with four Mobius fuel, a flint and steel, and four Nova Catalyst. Catalyst, not cataclysm. And this is a single held item as well. You can either use EMC, you can use any type of coal, alchemical coal, Mobius fuel, and Atonalis fuel, but I find EMC is the best. And you simply just right click and it does a 3x3 area and just pops the items off to you. If you press V it does a bigger area. So if I come up here I can do, it. oh it increases the length of the area dog. So with it fully charged it does that, with it at one level charge it'll do 3x3x3, three by three by three. at another level charge it'll do I think 3x3x5, three 3x3x7 three by three by by and 3x3x9. Three three so yeah this is a very effective thing for digging out big chunks of area. Uh, yeah but you gotta be careful obviously because it it doesn't destroy the items, it actually places down all items, like if I had this dark matter pedestal here, it would drop the pedestal, it drops every item broken. But yeah, it's very destructive, I guess, you could say. Okay, uh, this thing still hasn't worked. Um, ever, ever tied amulet. Um... That was a mistake. I think it's because I have the time set command, uh, the weather command set. But it should try to make it rain here. So yeah, we'll just we'll just leave that. Okay, so the next thing we have is the hyperkinetic lens. Also, all um, yeah, I know it's a bit random and out of the area, but I'll tell you about this in a minute. Um, all um block breaking items that use EMC use 16 EMC per block broken. Uh, the hyperkinetic lens basically it is crafted with two dark matter, a nova catalyst and six diamonds and when char if you right click it it'll just shoot a oh, this is a little too close it'll shoot a little ball a ball and ground and break all the things and give you all the blocks for the thing. It'll also not damage mobs, so it's again more of a mining tool. And yeah, that's about all it does. If you press V, obviously, you get more power out of it. If you fully charge it, let's go a bit further away. It can it can do it can do a lot. It can do a lot. It can do a big area. But yeah, that's the hyperkinetic lens again that uses EMC or I think coal as well can be used. And then we have the catalytic lens. This is made with two a hyperkinetic lens, a destruction catalyst, and seven dark matter or so. And this has the function of the catalytic lens and the destruction catalyst. So if you right click, it works like the destruction catalyst. If you press R, it shoots like the thing and obviously you can power it up so it can do a lot longer of an area for the destruction catalyst and it does a lot more damage so yeah that is the cataclytic lens and uh, this guy's kicked in now so if I go slash weather oh, I can't run the weather command but yeah this guy has actually kicked in 
So if I do slash weather clear, that wasn't random chance rain, I hope anyway. But yeah, I kicked in. Okay guys, so we're just gonna skip a few chests along now from these and we'll do the armor and tools in the final part. But yeah, we're gonna now move on to some of the other things like the al alchemical bag. This is made with uh, five types of any wool and a three high covalence, that's an alchemical chest. This is a big inventory, a very big inventory. And also you can place the alchemical, alchemical, no, the uh, talisman of repair in it, and it'll repair your tools. Over time, you can place, I think, the void ring in it, and it should pull things into you. We're actually going to test that, though. Um, wait, what's the ring? Ring, or is it band? No, it's band. Band. It's the black hole band. I'm pretty sure this works in it as well. So, yeah. No, maybe not. No, it doesn't. But the talisman of repair works in it. So if you place it in here and you place like... Actually, no, it should because it works like the alchemical chest essentially. And it's portable. So yeah, that's the alchemical bag. Next thing we have is the alchemical coal block. This is made with nine alchemical coal. And obviously, it just works the block or as a fuel. Uh, the Mobius fuel block, which is made with nine Mobius fuel. And this is just a Mobius fuel block decorative works as fuel I think as well and a tonalis fuel or a tonalis I don't know how to say it this is made with nine a tonalis fuel next thing we have is the interdiction torch this is a really cool torch it stops mobs from walking within an area of you so if I change it to oh if I just go like this it you'll notice it keep the slime can't actually come within this area I think it's 16 by 16 area so it's only hostile mobs, it doesn't work on passive mobs, but if I come up to the slime, it'll just shoot it really far away. And these are really good for keeping mobs away from you, so if you just wanted a little perimeter around your base, you could be like this, and you could have him go away. And nothing could get anywhere near you. And it's pretty cool. Obviously, it only has a 16 by 16 range, but yeah, I think it's a 16 by 16 anyway, or it might be a bit bigger than that. Uh, the next thing we have is the dark matter furnace. Now, this is essentially a furnace, but on steroids, and you can use the these for that as well. So that can be used as your fuel. You can smelt yourself some wood up, but you'll see what I mean by it's on steroids. Okay, this isn't too bad, but still pretty fast if you ask me it's faster than normal furnace and this is crafted with f eight dark matter blocks around a furnace and then the red matter furnace which is three red matter blocks around a dark matter furnace which is again this this is the this is the way to go with your furnaces guys it's not as good as the ultimate furnace from mystical agriculture but it's, it's pretty it's pretty good it's and it's more fuel efficient than a regular furnace as well i do believe so yeah the final two things we have are two things without crafting recipes first one is the book of alchemist and i don't actually know how you get this yet but it's basically just tells you all about all the things that i just told you about essentially so if you want to know about them, you know, you can read about them. Some of these don't have very good ones. Uh, so you can click on specific things. So the transmutation allows the alchemist to study the makeup of materials and break down others to create more of them. Dirt goes in, diamonds come out, etc. But yeah, that is the book of the alchemist. And it's a work in progress, obviously. And then you have the Tome of Knowledge. And this doesn't have a crafting recipe for a very good reason, although in some mod packs... Uh, what's it called? Transmutation. In some mod packs, you'll find it does have it. Like stone block that I'm playing right now, it does have it, but it's really hard to craft. And that is for a very good reason. Uh, you know, it's none of the slimes can get anywhere near me, and it's pretty nice. But yeah, if I put this in the burn slot, it'll say it learned everything. Everything is now learned in this table. Everything with an EMC value, at least. So I can pull out whatever I want. And basically, yeah. So that's why it's so expensive, so you don't have to craft things essentially, unless they don't have an EMC, but yeah, that's everything in the game right now that I've installed that has an EMC value, and I can just pull it out, or I can throw it back in, and I can pull this out, and I can throw it back in, and I can pull a whole stack of these out, 
and I can throw them all back in or I can pull whatever I want out essentially. So if I wanted to go like emerald blocks and just take all the EMC out of this table essentially, I don't know. Can you, I think you can only, yeah, you can only add EMC in creative mode. So yeah, I can't actually subtract from it, but yeah, you'll notice no mobs are actually coming anywhere near this place because of all the interdiction torches around. But yeah, that is about it for this one, I think, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I hope you guys found it useful, etc. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. This is Forge, signing off. Bye-bye.